remember in the last video where I said that this was the best costume in the game? Well. I forgot to tell you. Yeah. I lie! And I can deny the truth no longer. Come on, bro. You got Raven in a gothic school girl outfit. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Because I looked up peak in the dictionary and it's the same image. And that's not up for debate. Let's game. Folks, have you ever just like overeaten to the point to where the idea of more food makes you sick? Because I'm looking at a Taz player and I'm not even annoyed that they're playing Taz. Like I'm annoyed that he's putting the sandwich on the screen when I just gorged myself with so much food because four different families who love me dearly invite me to Thanksgiving and I can't say no. You give me ham, turkey, mac and cheese, creamed corn, green bean casserole, potatoes al gratin, biryani. I'm so starched up at this point, the only matchup worse than what you're looking at on screen is gonna be me versus the toilet in about 35 minutes. Also, can you die? Thank you. Comment says, I just want to know, what are y'all thankful for? Because, you know, I'm thankful for this skin from Player First Games. I'm thankful that I have enough people in my life who care about me to the point to where I get to go to multiple Thanksgivings. I'm thankful for the fact that you did not kill me with that cloud move. I really appreciate that, Taz player. Unfortunately, I will not be returning your kindness in turn. But to add on to the list of thankful, I'm thankful for all 3,300 of you taking the time to subscribe to the channel, liking the videos and driving the viewership up, helping me defeat the final boss, the algorithm. And you know, help me embarrass Taz players as we so, come on man, you have to die. You have to die. You have, thank you. I'll take it. It wasn't clean, but I'll take it. Raven's edge guard is so like, I don't even know if it's good, but it's hilarious. Rock, rock again. Like you knock someone off stage and you just throw the rock and it's like, are you gonna come back? Are you gonna get this drop kick? Drop kick, drop kick. It was gonna happen. It wasn't a matter of if, but when. Now you listen here, listen. The reason why you're losing is because you don't have the skin. My Raven goes to school. My Raven attends class. Yo Raven, high school dropout. If you even went to high school, maybe you got an eighth grade education at best. You're right. You right, every time I talk smack in my video, I immediately lose a stock. But I'm gonna keep it going because you high on damage. There's no way you taking another one from me. So I study trigonometry. I know what gravity is. I, unfortunately for you, know exactly what it takes to finesse a stock. Matter of fact, I can spell stock. Can you spell stock? Because the only time you gonna stock is when you stock and shells at the grocery store. Ah! I got two degrees and I ain't asking for a temp check. Comment section, was, was I too rude earlier? Cause I feel like this game is a little too close for me to be as rude as I as I was earlier. And, never mind. I may not have been rude enough, cause there's no way. Come on. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. I think Beetlejuice and Raven are like two perfectly designed characters. They have a lot of things in their kit. And when they do things, without thinking, they can be punished for it. I know, novel concept in this game, but I'll take it. Oh no. Oh no. Brother, you live that? You are the luckiest human being on the planet right now. No. I know some of y'all are gonna say, brother, there's no way you ate that much food. No, no, I ate more. There are some unlisted dishes that went happening last night, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't feel good about it. I don't feel proud about it. And now me and this Beetlejuice player are both suffering. <laughs> I guess we're right here with it. Oh no, we're right here with it. And then we're right here with it. And then you're there with it. And then we're here with it. And we're here with it. Then we're there with it. Then we're there with it. And you're dead with it. That's, oof. And he left. Hmm. Did you know that the Harley player list and Santa's naughty list are the same list? Did you, did you know that? Just a little, just a little fun fact of life. So I guess sometime early December, we'll be uh, doing the state of multiverses address video, where we're gonna be talking about all the, the drama and the little tidbits and the, oh my God, will this game be here in six months? Oh no, will the devs ever learn what to do? Oh my God, will they ever balance Arya Stark and Agent Smith? Oh, and you know, things of that nature, because those seem to be like really important topics. Oh my God, you're cooked. 
Also, you know, it, it's not just the devs that need to be uh, audited and reviewed. You know, sometimes, you know, you got to review your boy. So I'll also be fielding opinions in that video on what do you think the channel needs for more enticing videos? And, you know, maybe I'll be polling you guys. Do you want arenas content? Do you want more ranked content? Or do you just want me uh, trolling with some homies? Like, because, you know, I've been playing a little bit with Watch the Armory and Twos. And, and that's been fun a little bit. We're playing Jason Nubia. I, I know we, we're combination, but you know, that was a thing on stream. If you're not following the stream, you missed out, but it was hilarious. DLC stadiums. <laughs> what? Wow. What just happened? <laughs> what? Know, what? Clip it. I don't know. They went through the I floor. <laughs> what is this video game? <laughs> I beg if your pardon. Clip, not nah, clip and ship to the developers. <laughs> so big shout outs to Jackal. Go ahead and support Watch the Armory. Doing great stuff as always. And speaking of great stuff, we we got to get this lady out of here. All right, we got to escort you to the upper room. Oh, that killed. Oh, okay. So Gizmo is a, is a very interesting character because I, I played him not too long ago in just a little video. And I'm gonna be honest with you. If this character tries to run you down and actually like fight you, they don't do too great overall. But if you actually just sit back and just be the most annoying person on the planet and you just don't approach. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, this, this is one of the least fun matchups in the game. And it seems like, it seems like getting near me is not. Oh my good. Yeah, I, we just robbed that man on that one. But I just feel like there, there's several characters in the game where the optimal play style is do not engage, do not interact with opponent, just wait for the whiff punishable thing to eventually come and then interact with them and then run away for three minutes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh my, what, what a game. What a game. Well, they figured out the strats. Uh, they, now it's just run away from me for six minutes. And then if I miss my neutral air, uh, punish me. That That is the game plan now. And if I don't like keep them in a corner off a ledge guard, it just goes really bad. Oh my, why, yo, why does that car go so far? Oh my goodness, those hitboxes are... There's something else. Also, having a small hitbox, I don't really consistently get neutral air into up special. Oh my god, all right. I, I, see, I see what the commenters meant when they said, bro, just use car at every convenience. Oh my God. Okay, I have got to find a way to check. Never mind. Never, never mind. All right, I, I need y'all to be over there. Oh, they tried to parry what they, I guess they thought was gonna be my forward air and then I just blew it up and it messed up their timing and they died. So what I was saying earlier about like, the optimal play style for a lot of the roster is just do not interact with your opponent unless they give you something that's like mad negative. Like actually being anywhere near your opponent is pretty much bad news bears level idea. And I don't really know the best way to to do that because I just feel like there's so many characters in the game. Oh, okay, I don't know what's going on there, bro. Ah, the SD into forfeit, classic. This is a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. There are some characters like Arya their moves have so little end lag and whiff recovery that even when they do whiff something, unless you were like frame one Omega Jedi mind in their earlobe by the time they finish the move, you're not punishing it. Meanwhile, some characters like Raven, they do anything and you got all day to hit me, you know? And I just feel as though there's gotta be some middle ground. And I understand archetypes, one's a mage, one's an assassin, I get it. But like, there's no way y'all look me in the face and go, yeah, I already start fair and balanced character. Like you, you, there's no, I don't believe you do that. Also, this character could sometimes just fall out of Raven's jab. Yeah, the, the super slow jab that, but when it does hit, sometimes the third feather just drops on Arya. And you know, if 
it was as if she needed another advantage, you know? But the whole interaction process of the game, like, shields do fix a little bit because there are some moves that you wouldn't be able to punish that you now are able to punish pretty much universally amongst the cast. And while that's great, at the same time, I don't know if the community is quite ready to have such a monumental change pushed to the live game. Like in testing grounds or having being its own game mode, like cool. Like I feel like that's probably for the best. But there's a lot of people right now who they, they, they just think shields make it such a different game that they just don't want to play it. And I'm not saying that I agree with those people. I'm just saying, do, do we need something else to fracture the community even further? But y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all thinking. Oh, baby. Sometimes I feel like Arya's sword just swings everywhere. Like it hits in front, it hits behind, hits above. You know? Like a lot of characters, you have to make really, really decisive reads, right? For like almost every hit interaction you do. Not Arya. Arya can do like the same thing like 14 times in a row and it, it's fine. Low percent, mid percent, high percent. It, it's, it'll still link, it still works out. And that's why I always say in games like this, consistency is super key. Also, someone had asked me about other platform fighters in the uh, Tom and Jerry video. Like, what do I think about Brawlhalla? Listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not a platform fighter guy. Like that's not my bread and butter. That's not my niche. I just like multiverses as a game in and of its own. Like I I'm not even a Smash Brothers guy. Like I'll play it like at the homie's house or if I'm going to like, you know, a birthday party or, you know, when I was a kid, play that melee and you know, not to sound like a boomer boomer, but you know what I mean? Smash Brothers to me is kind of like Mario Kart. It, it, it was a social gathering game, a family reunion game. It wasn't a game that I thought that like I needed to spend time to get good at. Cause I feel like, oh my God. But I feel like getting good would like ruin the experience of the fun of the game. I don't know, that, that, that whole explanation might be a little weird for some of y'all, but like for, for me, there are some games, it's the social element of the game that made the game fun for me. Like playing Smash in like a group setting is great. What, what the, now we're lagging. That forward air showed the hit spark and all right, just take the game bro. You, you, you got it. I, clearly I'm just living in your world right now. And listen, I know a lot of people who are watching my videos, a lot of y'all are in, like super introverts and that once again, that's perfectly fine. Some days I definitely prefer to be that way, but sometimes it's just the social element of the game that I think makes the game great fun and have replayability like sure i may only play it a good handful of times a year but there is no grind there is no stakes it's just brother i hit you in the head with a nine from mr game and watch and we all laugh that's it that's the appeal but you know back to the other platform fighters none of them have that like social appeal to me and they don't have like characters from ips that like i necessarily care about so for me, it would just be a game that's an endless grind because most of the people who I know who play Brawlhalla or play uh, Rivals of Aether, they trying to get good so they can go to locals and like win tournaments and like, nah, I'm not about to learn games like that when I'm just trying to enjoy myself recreationally. You know what I mean? Like the, you got cooked by the way, Arya, but you know what I mean? So full transparency, if this was like a traditional 2D fighter, like a Street Fighter, MK or something like that, I would probably have a lot more hours in this game than I do. Also, you're a big hitbox character, so I'm gonna scumbag. It's happening. Don't whiff. You whiffed, you die. You whiffed, you die. I could keep it going to like 70, but like I have a conscience, you know, like, I don't want to be that guy who just, you know, like, why would you be a scumbag? Like the opponent does deserve to be able to play the game sometime. You know what I mean? Because like, I, I get it. It's Superman. It works on Jason and Iron Giant. Yeah, yeah. But like, I also don't think that should be in the game. Like it can happen to other characters too. If they have like terrible 
like historically bad di but with these characters i i don't really think there's a way you can avoid it at low percent so yeah i, I think that should also be taken a look at and removed from the game like i said i'm fair like and i understand that's my problem that's kind of like my achilles heel like if there's like super omega dirt I won't do it unless it's like to showcase something to the devs and be like, hey, you might want to get this up out of the game. Much less want to rely on it for an entirety of a playstyle. Oh my God, dude. Like if my character had a true combo, zero to death. But like, look at this, look at this, look at this. I could keep it going, but like, we, we don't have to do that. I'm pretty sure I got four to five more reps out of that. And like, at some point you got to ask yourself, like, what are we doing? Like, I, I think I think I proved my point about that, but there are a lot of players. They could find the most scummy, egregious, nonsensical, zero to death, true combo. Nothing you can do about it but cry. And people would make that their entire play style. And when it inevitably gets nerfed, they will honestly sit there and scream at the monitor telling you, my character didn't deserve that nerf. My character needed it. Now he can't compete. She's now the worst character. Bottom one. And it's like, come on, bro. Like, are we are we for serious? I have to, you know. All right, cool. Uh, you know, I let myself get hit by those lasers. My fault. My fault, gang. Goodbye. Of course. Uh, of course, somehow you live. Like I don't understand. Goodbye. You know what? I once again, once again, goodbye. Shoot me. Just, just get the biggest wood chipper and just toss me in it. Okay. I, I didn't even know that killed, but all right, cool. You know what, comment section? I, I guess another question that I will have to ask you is if you find some super Omega Dirt tech for your character that is clearly not developer intended and clearly broken and bad for the game, would you show it off or would you just abuse it to get to like the upper echelons of ranked? And oh, yeah, brother, you got cooked. You have spent three minutes running for me. Like he's just flying around. And like the only reason why I lost the stock is because I, I chased him. I'm not, do I'll let the timer run out at this point. I'm not doing this, bro. I'm not doing it. If you want to camp, fine. I don't. We're not. We're not doing this, buddy. Thank you. You know, I, you know, I think we're done. I think we're done for the day here. All right. You already know the spiel because y'all already know the deal. And just in case you don't give yourself a pat on the back and I'll see you guys next time. You made it this far, you might as well drop a subscription so you don't miss any more bangers that are coming your way. And man, I, I am, oh man, Thanksgiving, you have ruined me.